High school's fun because you learn subjects that you would never learn at primary school, which make it really fun and interesting. You can walk to the um, quad, which is like an area where um, there's benches and you can sit down, and then you can also go to the canteen. Um, you can walk to lessons uh, because you've got different classrooms, uh, different lessons in different classrooms. There are sports teams such as volleyball, netball, basketball, and rugby and football. My daily school routine is I'd come into school and I'd line up with the other year eights at half past eight in the morning. Then we'd go through the tennis court to wash our hands and go straight to form. During form we have different activities like careers or SMSC or Burnett News Club. After form I have three lessons before I go to break and I either sit in the tennis court, the canteen or the quad. After that I have two lessons before I go back to lunch in the same area and then after my last lesson I'd walk home with my friends. Most of our school rules are the same ones that you'd have at primary school, like don't shout in class, don't litter and don't run about. There are some different ones, but your form tutor would make sure you knew them when you came on the first day and they're in your planner if you needed to remind yourself of them. If you don't follow these rules, you get what you call comments which are like sanctions or consequences or steps in your schools. Once you get three of them in one subject, you get an hours after school detention. And if you filled your box in one week, which means you get 10 comments in one week, you'd get an isolation. The uniform expectations can seem a bit overwhelming at first because of all the different parts of the uniform that you won't have at primary school, but most of it's pretty simple. You just need to remember to always wear your grey jumper, your white t-shirt, your lanyard, which will change colour depending on what year you're in, as well as your tie, which will have a colour corresponding to the house that you're in. Uh, there are a few things about hairstyles that are not allowed, but most of this will be gone through with your form tutor on your first day, or you'll be told it before you start school. You're expected to always wear black pants that don't hug your legs specifically, and black shoes that don't have anything else on them, just pure black shoes. The main things you have to remember are your grey jumper, your white t-shirt and remember that the buttons should always be done up and you should always have your collar ready as well as your pink lanyard for anyone who's starting year seven and your tie which you know needs to be done you also need to wear black pants that don't hug your legs and black shoes that have completely plain black and have nothing else on them you're also not allowed to wear a coat inside unless it's very cold or you've been given specific perm permission by a teacher You learn a lot of different subjects at secondary school. Most of these will be things that you didn't learn in primary school or at least didn't go too in depth to. Most of these are things like history, French or Spanish, depending on what they decide, as well as a few others like geography. Most of the time, or at least in today's conditions, you'll be staying in one room to do most of your classes, so you won't be moving about. But when school returns to normal, hopefully, you'll be travelling around school through the different blocks to try and see where your new lessons are. Everything will seem overwhelming at first, but you'll be given a week or so where you won't get any comments for being late, just so you can learn the layout. Most of the time, you won't move classrooms to do a lesson because of COVID restrictions, but in some cases, like ICT, you'll have to move to a new room. You learn a lot of new stuff in secondary school as well, like going more in-depth into things like French, geography or history, and learning completely new things like in English. Normally at school, you'd travel around school to find your different lessons, but today, in the COVID restrictions, we have to keep staying in one room to avoid spreading the virus. Normally, you'll stay in one room for the entire day, but there are some special cases where you'll move into a different place like the drama studio or another classroom because of special requirements. Yes, and anyone can use it, whether if you've got a problem at home or in school or just you want to talk to somebody, there's always people here to help you. 
They are optional, but personally, I like to carry all my things in my backpack so then I can know that I've always got them on me and I'll never lose anything. At Brunkleff Academy, there's always cold meals in a fridge, such as sandwiches and water. Then there's hot meals, with such things as pizza, burgers, hot dogs, and then you swipe your lanyard on a machine and it takes money from your parent pay. At Brunkleff Academy, we have many, many after-school clubs, such as choir, band, business, Maths, space or science. Drama, football, rowing. Volleyball, karate, netball. Geography, recycling, burnout, news club. In order to attend these clubs, you head to the specific department after school, 